All right, so now that that video is out of the way, we're going to go back to trying to kill two birds with one stone as we get this achievement hunting into full swing. We're going for evacuation point and also demolitionist on suicidal. Let's see how much of a clusterfuck this becomes. All right, let's see what kind of economy we can get started with. Of course, you start out with the grenade pistol, which is a, which is a, a pretty good sidearm for when you're in the later waves, but certainly won't get you out of a bind unless it's a bunch of trash mobs. Of course, as always, economically viable. You want to start with the. Uh, I always try to do the whole first wave with the uh, melee weapon. Whatever melee weapon I have at my disposal that won't cost any bullets. I think I'm already faring well here. Only 61 health, but I should be all right. Oh yeah, so now that that video is out of the way, um, it was good that I at least got a win out of it. I mean, even though it was a perk that I knew I could win with. Now, until I get over my sickness, it's just a matter of, you know, I'll just, I'll just keep playing Killing Floor 2 and recording it and streaming it. And if you watch, if you, and if you, and if you watch, you know, thank you for watching. I'm just saying it's okay if I fuck up now, <laughs> you know, because it's just something to do until I until I recover, and or until we move on to Hell on Earth. Oh my! <laughs> Although I don't think it would be viable for me to try to do every map on Hell on Earth because that would just take forever. All right. Well, since there are only bloats left, I guess it's okay to use my pistol. Because they're a bitch to deal with up close. They always spit at you like the boomer from Left 4 Dead 2. I didn't even know what a boomer was until like very recently, and after Rocket League came out, <laughs> and people were using boomer to describe a really hard shot. Hard as in powerful, not as in difficult. All right, let's skip to the end. All right, I didn't use much ammo, so turns my stomach. Uh, well, I guess I guess demolition is pretty easy to uh, economically to start out with solo because you can immediately buy the M79, no matter how piss poor you do in the first wave. There's Zeds on the scope. Must close the pod but very soon. Uh, I'm still not gonna sell my grenade pistol yet. Let's get a couple of rounds for the M79. No armor. Don't need armor yet. Totally don't need armor. It's fine. Zero deaths. Zero fuck ups. All Zeds on the scope. We're Back doing this. We're doing this suicidal shit tonight. <gasps> and then I'll finally have the achievement. <gasps> Both of them. For completing the map and demolitionist. On suicidal. I'll go and dispatch this guy with an M79. Very expensive. $13 investment, but you know what? Cloaked. The husk is worth it. There we go. Of course, when you're when you're slow like a demolitionist, you gotta make sure to keep on your toes as far as healing yourself. Because damn you're gonna get cornered very fast. Like, you might find yourself, like every single time your syringe is recharged, bam, heal. Kind of reminds me of how pros describe StarCraft, you know, like you never, oh god, hang on, hang on. 
emergency. Like they'll say, never, never keep any money in your bank. Always be spending that shit. Well, that's the case with this game, with your medic syringe. Always be healing yourself. Maybe. Unless... Unless you're anticipating engaging a large group of enemies. Actually, I think I'm pretty well stacked now with as many grenade pistol shots as I have and as many grenade launcher shots as I have. Wait a minute, hold that tongue. Alright. Even though the grenade pistol will often deal only enough damage to deal with one enemy at a time, as long as it's a as long as it's a medium-sized enemy like a gore fiend, then it's fine. Oh, oh shit! It's only wave two. Oh wait, of course, it's a short game. Oh, I'm I'm still thinking I'm playing hard. I'm about to die, aren't I? God damn, can you Can you get away from me? God! He's just always next to me. Can't catch a fucking break from these guys. <laughs> guys, sorry, I'm not good at this game. I'm like one of those guys who like know the theory of a game, but in practice I'm not that good at it. Present, but <sighs> yeah, so I was just saying, oh I have plenty of ammo to dispatch all these guys, but then the next thing I know, Watch out. I get very hard countered by the thing that, that hard counters having a lot of ammo, just being all up in your grill 100% of the time. Hostile present. So that none of your explosives will go off. Alright, who's... who's... Who are the stragglers that I have to take care of? Hey, you've been the thorn on my side for too long. Enjoy. Fuck off, please. I'm not much less sick than my previous recording, and I don't know if I sound much less sick. But the sickness sure is mutating. Now I keep feeling like I have a... Like, you know those bubble-blowing things that you... that you get, and... And like there's always like a film of soap on the on the bubble ring. That's what it feels like on my throat right now. How does a M79 not kill a fucking rider? Oh, because of its armor. Yeah, once it's out of armor, it's fucked. That's the thing with the riders. They're pretty much just clots. But once you destroy the armor, they're just easily dispatchable. I'm impressed. Going into wave three with two uh twenty four hundred dollars and a extra gun here? Twenty five hundred dollars? It sounds pretty promising to be honest. Last um, chance. Alright, so I, I can definitely get the, the assault rifle with armor. Get into the blue with all my ammo, and then Time's I think up. I'm good, and then on wave four I'll decide whether I should move into RPG and assault rifle or or I don't know, I never use a se uh, the Seeker the 6. So this is like one of the default setups to go for it. The Assault Rifle as well as the M79. And of course that did nothing. Alright, did I reload this? Alright, so one of each grenade kills it, that's good. That's good to know. See, at least now with the assault rifle, at least now you have something to deal with the, uh, with close range and or, and or trash, uh, but more effectively than the grenade pistol. 
And I'm a I am not a crack shot. <laughs> I don't know what my character's talking about. Ignore my own advice. Because I did not keep healing myself. Stupid me. Oh boy. Being surrounded is one of the worst things in this game. There we go. Uh. God damn it, I thought it was reloaded. We've got a siren. That's the stuff. That's whatever. I guess that's all there is to suicidal solo. As long as you can get yourself out of tough situations by squirming your way out with luck, then then you might succeed. I can't believe all my grenades are doing. Am I really a demolitionist? Like, I feel like I don't have all the uh, damage boosts. Oh, I'm out of ammo. And of course, the rider is faster now that he doesn't have his armor. I'm a crack shot. Ah, oh, shit. Yes. <laughs> That's how you take care of close range enemies. Try to fire like behind them a little bit. <laughs> but of course, I always try and fail miserably. Now, with as much money and weapons that I already have, I think that going into wave four, this is uh, this is a pretty good setup. I am going to get the RPG seven. I don't know what I don't. Uh, what should I trade for it though? Make your Probably the grenade launcher, because the M sixteen is definitely more valuable. And with the RPG and the M sixteen, I'll have full weight capacity and uh, no room to upgrade my. Weapons, of course, but Finest Russian that's all right. I got plenty of ammo, plenty of bullet ammo, plenty of grenade ammo, and plenty of rocket ammo. I'll just take a big fall here. It's probably not a good time to take a fall <laughs> because I only have 70, no, 80 health now. I'm going face first into the beginning of a wave, and there's already a big Zed coming my way. Oh, God. At least I have a good sense to restart my computer so that I'm not dealing with shit frame rates. Probably sound like a broken record in every video. Because I probably already mentioned this in the last one. Oh, wait, what? Oh, God. I didn't mean to do that one. But how does the RPG not kill a rider? Like, I know he's fully armored and everything, but... Anyway, what you s just saw there was me trying to do an alt fire with my M16 assault rifle, but I managed to, I managed to accidentally heal myself, which can sometimes be devastating. I know I said always healing yourself is good, but put me in kind of like uh, how do you say the opposite of a clutch situation. They put them in a clutch situation. Probably learn to stop being a little bitch and use my ammo conservatively. I mean, I mean liberally. God, I got distracted because I'm discerned by three fucking scrakes here. Start using my ammo liberally because I have enough of it. Oh shit! I still need to reload this bitch. Oh, 
<laughs> I like that. Someone hit me out of out of the uh, out of the bloat's range. Oh god. There we go. Oh yeah, the toughest part about fucking playing demolitionist solo is uh, keep all your, all your shit reloaded. Should always be switching from one weapon to another, and then like <laughs> always the weapon you need the most at the time will uh will be unreloaded, so you'll be stuck reloading it. But other than that, we're already almost down with uh, done with the uh, third out of I mean no the fourth wave, and of course like I said the boss wave is always the easiest. I say that, but I actually died to a boss recently. <laughs> and of course, I'm facing two husks and two <laughs> scrakes, so victory is not guaranteed. Bollocks, bollocks. Shit. What? Enjoy. Me. You've got right. fight ahead. I don't know how the hell two RPGs are wherever the hell I That's hit that Scrake with. <laughs> how he survived. <coughs> I keep trying to talk and then get distracted because the coughing pit's trying to come on and I'm trying to suppress it. Get back to work. More Zeds inbound. But, oh, Patriot. <coughs> and I've got some new tricks. Probably one of the hardest bosses. Yeah, definitely the hardest boss, I would say. Especially because he'll wreck your shit with rockets. And he's cloaked. A lot of the time. And also, he'll turn his machine gun on you until you get out of the line of sight, which... If you're in a wide open map, then you're fucked. So I can kill you over and over again. Oh, I'm going. Uh oh, <laughs> going up the other escalator. Oh shit! You still on his healing phase yet? All right, let's see if I can. Oh god. Oh god, I was gonna say let's see if I can nuke him real quick. I need to get the hell out of here because he just took like a shit ton of my health with just one machine gun run. Uh oh. Artillery? No, not yet. Oh, come on, come on. Please going upstairs. Yes! I didn't see where he was going, but I predicted it. Sweet. <laughs> Demolition is easy. Forget everything I said. Alright, so that's every single one of the maps as, a, as on suicidal that I've beaten so next up is the sharpshooter that'll be a little difficult and the survivalist oh an old nemesis of mine I've tried multiple times to beat suicidal as a uh, survivalist one of them I've had a video on so I guess we'll see. See y'all later.